Welcome to another beautiful episode of Light After Darkness. And I am your host for today. My name is David Coyote Oluke. And you're on the right station today, wherever you're watching us from, America, Europe, Canada, Africa, Togo, Mali. This is the right place to be at the right time. And this is Light After Darkness. Today, I'm having a man of God, a pastor of a church, a man few with the anointing, a man that is willing to share with us his past testimonies. So join me as I welcome to the studio, Pastor Samuel Ola Koke. Thank you. Pastor Samuel. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Hope um, I got the name rightly. Yes, you're correct. Okay, yes, just for correct. the for the viewers and for our audience out there, can you just please introduce yourself, your position, your church, okay. and just little things about about yourself. Thank you. Uh, viewers all over the world, I bring the good things of the Lord Jesus Christ to you today. I pray the Lord will bless every one of you as you're listening. I'm Pastor Samuel Olaguke, the founder of uh, Healing the Nations of the Heart Ministry. So. And I really thank God. It's not just uh, my making being a pastor. It's just by the grace of God. Ordinarily, I'm born from a Muslim background. Uh, well, the someone you're calling me today, actually, from the onset, my name is Abdul Rashid. Wow, Abdul Rashid. But uh, when I see the light, the Lord of Jesus Christ, that was why I just say, to the glory of God. The name needs to change, and I thank God for everything. Oh, thank hallelujah, you. hallelujah. I thank, thank God thank for you. everything. So, sir, you just said it from your, you're from a Muslim background. So, um, those days, how, 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 how was it for you? Well, although I was very uh, little then as a kid, I think around, let's say, 12 to 13 years, you know, when we relocate to our state of origin. Okay. Where so, precisely? Uh, at the Ocean State. Okay, good. So there was a neighbor in our house, a Christian, you know, met with my mother, preached to her, and also come to with the children as well, preached to us about heaven. So it's not the preaching that people preach today, or just about when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you will be great, you will be rich, you will be that. No, you just talk about heaven. Wow. Just tell me, you know, there is a eternity waiting for everybody. Yeah. There, there is a place called Hellfire. There is a place called the Kingdom of God in heaven. So he narrated the difference and then the, the experience that it will like be in the two eternity. Wow. He said that will, the, the Hellfire people will be burning there. There will be no stop burning on a daily basis. Yeah. And he said there is a place called heaven that I will be enjoying myself. He now said, which one do I choose? I said, I choose heaven. Wow, I want to be in paradise. Yeah. He now said, the criteria is that I need to give my life to Jesus right, Christ. Right. I said, no problem. So that was when the journey began. Wow, hallelujah. That's wonderful. So that was how you were able to convert from being a Muslim to a Christian. Yes, yes. So yes. now let's, let's get down to the, to the business of the day. Okay. Our past come with some vices and all that. I don't really know much about it. Now, I know that you're from a Muslim background. That's the only thing I know. Yeah. So tell me, what are those things that, in the past, that you feel that you've done wrong, that you feel it ought not to be? Can you just give us some instance? What are those things? Is it that in the past, I haven't been a Muslim, do you smoke? Have you been a courtist? Have you been a, have you been a street gangster? Have you, so tell, can you just give us, like, have you been drinking? So can you just tell us what the encompassing that, what, your, your past was like? <laughs> wow. That's a very long story anyway, yeah. but I'll be brief. Okay. Well, during the time I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ yeah. then, you know, it was on and off yeah. as a young man. You know, uh, in company of friends, yeah. they introduced a lot of things to me. Okay. You know, I started smoking in their hand. Wow. Cigarette, I drink a lot. So after then, I met with a friend also, who is a court member. Wow. So they initiated me to uh, fraternity. I won't mention the name okay, of the courtism. Good, good. Anyway, so when I joined that courtism, in fact, it was a very bad experience for me. I thought it was going to be very good, uh, 
thing for me. Okay. So, you know, according to what they, 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 what they told me, that I will be secure, that everything will be okay, nobody can cheat on me, nobody, you know, I'll be free to do anything I want. But along the line, I realized that it was a unscrupulous adventure. Wow. So it was a very, very bad adventure. Wow. So when I joined this courtism, you know, we started the runnings, even in the street. Yeah. Now, there was this time every year, I think since 2000, and, uh, I think 2007. Okay. You know, every year, there is no year I don't have a trash during the uh, December period. Wow which I will have to excuse the house, wow. which I will have to run away from the old territory. Wow. It's either maybe there is a, we go to a party, you know, that somebody now talk to me anyhow, yeah. from then we begin to fight. Like a fracas. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> begin like that. There was a time, 2008, okay. when, uh, you know, I think one boy, I, I introduced him to smoking in their hand. Okay. You know, along the line, it became, you know, pompous at me. Okay. So, the, and then we want to go to another bar parlor one day like that, okay. along the line. So, uh, I think that the, uh, okay. Now, when we get to the bar parlor, yeah. yes. So, one of our friend is the one is the initiator is the one that uh, you know is our number one in the territory. Okay. Then, so I won't mention him anyway. Okay. So, now. One of our friends that was there, when that guy was uh, talking to me anyhow, now told him, he said, that thing you said the other time, can you please say it again? Mm. Can you repeat yourself? As, as he repeated himself, somebody just break bottle on his head. Wow. And then the vein of the head just caught. Wow. And they're gushing out a serious blood. Wow. So we carried him to the, you know, we carried him to the hospital, and then we treated him, but in the middle of the night, in fact, it was like, it's God that just loved me anyway. Yeah. When he gave up. Wow. You As know, he passed, he died. He uh, just temporary death. Died, yeah. wow. Temporary okay. death. So, you know, and the things he was saying that day is that, ah, somewhere, ah, somewhere, ah, somewhere. And then, no, they couldn't hear him breathing again. Mm -hmm. Wow. So they carried him to the hospital. All the landlord in the territory, they came to my house, you know, everybody. You know, immediately my mom, you know, crying that, ha, ah, what have you done to so 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 person? Mm -hmm. So now I just pick up my trousers, I wear my shoe immediately, and I passed among them. They didn't see me. They, they just, never knew anyone passing by. They didn't know. I don't know. Just, just the Lord's doing that. Yeah. Anyway, God has been protecting me. Yeah. He has been preserving me. Yeah. So I passed among them, you know, I ran away from the house for at least three months, three months. from the territory. You know, along the line, the guy gained consciousness back okay, good. to the glory of God. It would have been a serious matter that they would have, you know, get, you arrested. get me arrested and my parents and everybody. Mm. You know, what really, what really makes me to join courtism? Let me just flash back anyway. It was, you know, in the territory, you know, then courtism was so very, very rampart yeah. in the area. Okay. No, not nowadays that everybody are looking for money. Yeah. Then everybody are looking for power. power yeah. They want to humiliate. Queen. They want to, you know, they want to be where things are going on smooth. Yeah. You know, there was a time one of the uh, confraternity, yeah. the one of the uh, blue birds, yeah. the confraternity. You know, one of their number one in the territory talked to me anyhow. Yeah. Then and now, there was a day I was uh, okay. Now let me say okay. That day when he talked to me anyhow, then I didn't know that I will have take the matter up again. Yeah. So I waited for him the second day. He was going with his girlfriend and I abused him. I said, look at you. See the woman you are carrying about yourself, you know, <laughs> <laughs> to the extent that the guy got upset, but yeah. he did not see anything. Okay. So one of my friends now came to greet me in the evening. Yeah. So then I have to see him off to the territory of this guy I'm okay. talking about. Okay. So, on coming back, I was just like, you know, hearing people whispering at me, hello, is, is, is. I didn't look, but it was with one of my friends that we were going together okay. that day. Was it in the middle of the night? Middle of the night. Around, no, not middle right, but around 9, 10 okay. of 18, okay. you know. So, as they were calling me, they were running after me, you know, like four or five of them. Okay. You know, as they were pushing me, I just, you know, eventually I have to stay. I have to stop, rather. 
So once I stopped, they surrounded me. They said, ah, do you know you fuck up? Do you know you messed up? I said, what? Immediately before I say, Jesus is Lord. Mm. See, dirty slap. Wow. They raked me, I fell inside gutter, wow. you know? And then once they are bringing the cutlass and then the, the and uh, every other the weapon to match it, just to, just you know? To... I just run through the gutter, I run away mm. that day. So, to escape. yes, that night they came to my house. Wow. They are like 20, 30. They were very, you know, armed and prepared. Very, very harm and prepared. They came to my house. I wasn't at home. I went to sleep in one of my friend's house. Okay. They, you know, they drove everyone out of my house. They break my mother's shop, you know. They break all the bottle, everything she's selling, they destroyed everything. Wow. You know, my mother has to run away from the house, my father, everybody, for like three days, nobody could be able to sleep in the house, not until the landlord association have to intervene that day. So that was when I now say, okay. So, so that one of my friends now introduced me to somebody, say, if you really want these people to uh, get deep behind me, mm. that I need to at least belong. Mm. So belong, after being a court, it still belongs to another. another, yes, another, another, another. <laughs> it is a serious wow. matter. Deep, it's just going deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. You know, I met with all that person. They initiated me. It okay. was a, in fact, since that day, I, I, I begin to feel something working in my vein, mm. all my body. You know, during the hour of the midnight, I will sleep. I will be seeing something moving in my body, wow. you know, because of the initiation. They called, you know, we hit a lot of things. I drank yeah. a lot of things on that day. Mm. So since then, the journey has just begun. Mm. And every time there is always a round call in the territory, but God has been protecting mm. me. Mm. God has been there for wow. me. Wow. You know, any time, you know, that was the only time I have uh, the serious battle with them, oh, wow. you know. The, when after then, anytime they want to go on operation, yeah. I will go, will just find a thing to excuse me mm. from that matter. I want to talk about, I want to talk about picture, maybe they're going on a robbery. No, not at all. Okay. No, they're that's going only, they're going either want to go and eat back. back. Eat back, maybe on yes. fight. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anytime want to go and eat back. Okay, eat back. Or, okay. or they want to go, uh, you know, to to go to a, dead, a deadly zone. zone. To fight. Yes. I will, God will just find a thing to excuse me on that okay. day. Mm. That's all. So, go, so, so all this why God know God, God, God has a purpose for you, and mm. God has been helping you out all the in yes. all these processes. Yes, okay. God has been so good to me. Mm. I will converse to you because when I was among them, yeah. there is no rest of mind. Mm, there is no peace. There is no peace. That's why the Bible says there is no peace for the wicked. Yeah. You know, everywhere I go, I go with fear yeah. because there is one way or the other. Then courtesy is so rampant mm. in the area. Mm. There is hardly you see anybody who does not belong. Yeah. Because that's the thing we used to claim big boy mm. then. Yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah, yeah. So everywhere I go, yeah. I will be very scared that maybe this oh, one or other fraternity. I will be looking as well, you know. So you're just scared. Anytime you're going, you're moving, you 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 it's like something something's something coming. Is, yes. In fact, there is no there is no rest of mind. Oh. But ever since I've surrendered my life to Jesus Christ, I will converse to you every, I have nothing to worry about. Wow. Because even most of them, all these courtes, yeah. most of them, they see me preaching, doing evangelism. Yeah. I carry megaphone. Yeah. All of them now, they'll be calling me pastor, pastor, mm -hmm. pastor. There was a time, all of them, one of them, uh, they see me, they say, pastor, you need to pray for us before you leave this place. Wow. I said, ah, brother, just hold on, don't worry, don't worry. Mm. If you don't pray for us, you are not leaving this place. Mm. So, Do you pray for them? Yes, I have to pray. I have to just pray a simple prayer. God, I pray you show your son the light. Mm. Because I can't pray a breakthrough for, a prayer for mm. them. Just the prayer that they need to see the light. Mm. Just I've seen the light. Mm. Because ever since I've given my life to Jesus Christ, I've been so, you know, enjoying my life wow. than wow. ever. Wow. Wow. Because wow. when I was one of the occultic, yeah. you know, in fact, I will converse to you during December period, yeah. there will always be a trouble, a trouble that will not make me to celebrate the Happy New Year peacefully. Hmm. Okay, now I need to ask you this question. Have you ever been um, arrested by the police and locked up in, in, in cell or in jail or gone to prison because of this, your, this, this act of yours? Mm, no, but there is a similar case to that. Okay. 
uh, the, there is a young man that I introduced the fraternity I belong okay, to. Okay. I introduced to him, you know, and uh, eventually he, he joined me. Okay. And then he is now like trying to, because the rule of the game is yeah. if you don't have orientation, like there is orientation that back the association hub. Okay. So if you don't have the orientation, if I ask you some question, you are not able to answer me. Okay. There is rule of, you know, I can seize okay. anything that belongs to okay. you. Okay. You understand? So yeah. this guy sees that uh, this is an opportunity to exploit others okay. that don't have orientation. Okay. You know? So it was like trying to gather more people so that they can have the access to, you know, seize a lot of things from them. Okay. So we now introduce the group to one of our, one of uh, the, the street boys. Yeah. So and they promised that they will they will join okay you know so like two of them two of them yes okay. so they promised to join so it was like you know some of they were like telling him that okay. uh, you know uh we will be ready very soon mm. he built them some certain amount okay so during the process they are like delaying so he, he sees one of their phone okay and he's threatening them out of my consent mm. you know so eventually when uh, those guys feel intimidated and okay. feel threatened, okay. they inform their parents. Okay. So when they inform their parents, uh, now they, they, they will, their, their parents is one of the uh, OPC of a okay. team. Okay. So while they now came to threaten, you know, to get him arrested. Okay. So when they come to the territory, they, to, to our environment yeah. to arrest, you know, the boy, I was with him. We are like okay. talking together. To, like, talking okay, together. Okay. Having a gist that day, mm -hmm. I could remember vividly. So, uh, I was there anyway. So, when they came, they pointed to him because those boys don't know me. Okay. They wanted to carry him away. Okay. And now it was like now telling me that somewhere, uh, why don't you follow me? I said okay. So you so never knew. You never. You never knew what was happening at that point. I did. He, although he informed me. Okay. But when he told me, I told him, don't do all this. Okay. You don't have to do all this. That's not even one of. According to the one I belong to, they don't steal. Okay. They don't rob. They don't rob. Okay. They don't rob. Okay. They don't steal. Okay. They only womanize. Yeah, okay. Drink. They go. They only drink. drink smoke and all the kind smoke, of life. But they don't go to uh, you know arm okay, robbery issue. Stuff. So once he do does such a thing, I blamed him. I said, Why would you do this? You know, it's not the one of the rule of the game. Okay. So eventually, so. When they want to carry him away, he just begged me that I should follow him. him. That if I can follow him, it will be okay by him. I said, okay, no problem. Let's Let go. me follow you. So on getting there, it was a serious matter. Wow. Now, we we got to the ballet of the area. Okay. From there, they transfer out to the OPC zone. Okay. So they said we should sit down. We sat down. They chained us. They chained our leg. And they started beating us. Wow. It's a serious pull us into the core. Mm. So they, so you know, we we, we submitted our leg, yeah. like uh, three of us. Okay. They chained the leg together. together. So if they are beating one person and he's rolling on the floor, it will be affecting, affecting the other person. So if they are beating the other person, it will be. So it was a serious battle on that day. Did you did you sustain any, any injury? Say me. Yeah. Well, well, my leg just have to scratch that okay. day. Mm. My leg scratched that day. So eventually. They just they said they will transfer out to this police station. Okay. So I have to call one of my friend. Is our number one in the territory. Okay. Then I called him. Is they feared him. all of them feared him. Okay. Even the OPC they feared him. Okay. So now, uh, when I called him, he was traveling on that day. Although he's one of the OPC as well okay. anyway. So when uh, when they when I called him, he now turned back. He was on the way to Ilaro that okay. day. So uh, as he turned back, as they see him and. Uh, do you know the people you are tying down? Do you know you are not supposed to? We'll give you the order and you harass them that they, they have mm. to release us. Because of his personality. We, personality. He's a well-known person in the area. Yeah. Very, very famous yeah. person in the area. So that's the only thing I can say I experienced. The first day I experienced my, you know, mm. the mm. arrest you know, of a thing. The arrest of a thing. Okay. Yes. Now, looking at, you, you talk about, I want to take you back a little bit. You talk about you being initiated. They gave you a lot of stuff to eat, that you feel yes. something running through your vein, and all that. Yes. This, this procedure, how did it happen? Is it that there was, there was an initiator, there was an abalist, or, or what, what are those things that we're giving? What are those things mm, that not you feel? Not really, that it's not really like a shrine. Okay. 
it's like uh, they call it and uh, anyway let me just quote the names okay. they call it anyway it was like uh, inside the bush okay inside the bush they cover our eyes mm. so and then we lie down they begin to beat us beat beat to wow. to in fact i can't even quantify the beating the that beating. day wow. it's so serious wow. so during the after the beating yeah they now said we should kneel down they gave us the warm meat that we should not is uncooked meat okay they say it's the body of the past people that belong to wow. the one i joined okay so i have to swallow it wow. and they, i think i don't know what i drank that day so they gave me to drink mm. so and i drink that also and uh, they were like you know they cut a certain area of my body okay to submit my blood wow. you know mm. so and i did that that day mm. but maybe that's the reason why i begin to feel some movement in, in your my body, body. Okay. because wow. i made some you know convenance okay, that day with them. yes mm. because they say i should say after them and i begin to say you know understand okay so since uh you know that day i begin to feel movement in my body. body is it like you feel me is it coming like a strength or is it coming like a weakness it's coming like a strength hmm. and in time <laughs>
She always called me time to time. She said, ah, you God will lift up your head. God will, you know, engrace you. Yeah. So, and so on and so forth. My mother is very good to me. Oh, I appreciate her. Wow. She's a very good so mother. So, mommy, you can hear it from your son. He's dead. Mm -hmm. He, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much yeah. for your love. So, Thank now, you. let's come now to your ministry. Okay. You were, you were a Muslim. You gave life to Christ. Yeah. You, know, you know, when God created man and when God formed man, there was there, there, there was a process. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, giving your life, like becoming a Christian, that does not make you, that, that, uh, that does not make you, um, that doesn't make you live a life of Christ. Yes, yes. You, you yes, are just yes. a Christian, just for, yes. just for the Christian sake. Sick, yes. So now, from the time you were, you were a Christian to the time you gave a life to Christ, okay. what really went through? Because you said you've been on and on, on and off, on and off. Yeah. Before you finally surrender your life to Christ. So tell us, what was that transformation like? Thank you very much. Well, the transformation I really say I experienced so much mm -hmm. is that, you know, uh, when I surrender my life to Jesus Christ, then, you know, you know, I told you just like a conversion, mm -hmm. you know, that was like rising and falling, rising yeah, and falling. Yeah. But the real experience, which we I call divine encounter, yeah. because a lot of people, somebody says something, it's not, it is not enough to know that you're on the right track. You must make sure you are going in the right direction. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people bear somewhere, Matthew, yeah. this and that, and then their life is outside the mm -hmm. will of God, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, when the, uh, the, the journey began, I think I was working with an organization. It was a very, it's a very long story anyway. Mm -hmm. Working with an organization, you know, uh, with one of my brother. Okay. He was the one that is working with the organization directly. I was like a, a third party, okay. you know? So, uh, which, uh, we, we do mass tour, okay. we build the uh, MTA, yeah. and okay. all that. Okay. So, it was like, there was a date around 2011, yeah. they sent some certain amount of money to my account, like 850000 then, yeah. you know, to go and execute a site at, uh, you know, Ogbomo Shop okay. in our state. So, during that process, you know, then, I d I, the way I used to work with him, sometimes he would not pay me, blah, blah, blah. I said, you know, I now meet with a pastor. That pastor now said, okay, uh, you know what? You need to fast, you need to pray. I said, okay. no problem. Okay. He now gave me some assignment. I fasted and I prayed that time. So uh, I now called that pastor. When he transferred the money to me, I said, ah, my brother just transferred money to me. He said, ah, I should hold on, that he will tell me what to do. I said, okay. So... He was like telling me to run away with the money. Yeah. I said, no, I can't do that. This is what led to my transformation. I need to be, you know, okay. deep with yeah. it. Okay. Anyway, so... Uh, who, who advised you to run with the money? The pastor. The pastor himself? Yes, a pastor. That's why the Bible said, not all those that call me Lord, Lord, mm. we enter into the, the kingdom, kingdom of God. God. 